here are two positive charges near each other, and we're going to draw the electric field surrounding them. We're going to start off by realizing that close to each of these charges, the field lines are going to be pointing straight outwards. And that's because for small distances, the force is so strong, the field is so strong, rather, that the presence of the other charge just doesn't matter. But, as you get further out into these areas, of course, now the effect of both charges is going to be felt significantly. So, remember, field lines cannot cross. So, this line here coming out of the left-hand charge and this line here coming out of the right-hand charge clearly can't keep going straight or they're going to cross. And the electric field lines curve away from the other positive charge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this one here, curving like that one, curving like this, and conversely on the bottom half, doing the same thing. These electric field lines here, I'm going to curve away from the other positive charge. like so. The electric field lines pointing straight away along the line connecting them don't curve one way or another because why would it curve up or down? It's symmetrical around that direction. And then the last line is this one is a little puzzling. Connects the two positive charges and it looks like you have these two field lines meeting. Uh, however, right here in the very middle, the strength of the electric field is zero because that's where you have basically a tug of war that's a tie equal electric field in the two opposite directions. So the strength of the electric field right here uh, directly in between these two equal charges is going to be zero. So having arrowheads pointing in two directions uh, is okay. And that completes our drawing. Now let's see how I did. The green lines are my rough sketch, and the red arrows are the computer's calculated directions for the electric field. And you can see that by following a few simple rules for these rough electric field sketches, you can get a pretty accurate picture of the electric field without having to do a whole lot of calculations.